so you can put the heading area of trapezium okay so before moving into area of trapezium can anyone explain what is trapezium anyone quickly it's like a parallelogram it has one pair of sides that's equal so that's not a parallelogram i mean a parallel parallel not equal so one parallel so this side is parallel to this and the other two are not parallel is it making sense so this side is parallel to this other two are not parallel okay everyone yes so there are different different looks of trapezium so important criteria is one pair of parallel side that's the important condition now we have to look for area of trapezium okay the classic figure is this one when i say classic figure i mean to say if you if i ask you to draw a rectangle right now in your notebook draw a rectangle when you are done just let me know everyone and then simple rectangle you have to draw sana so done simple rough yeah. rectangle aaron done i'm getting the scale or draw it with pen simple do it quickly waiting for you yes i am drawn yeah. how many of you have drawn like this aaron is your rectangle looks like this yes sir kind it looks like this Devo. Yes, sir. Sure. Emma. Yeah, it looks like that. I hope it doesn't look like this. Yes. What I'm trying to say over here, whenever I. See a rectangle. Your brain gives you this image, not this image. Okay, both are rectangles. So this is called classic. <laughs> okay, so that's why this particular figure is will be regarded as classic. Similarly, here, if I say trapezium, most of the students will think like this. I hope it is making sense. Yes, no. Can you hear me? Yes. Sir. So now we'll be looking at finding the area of trapezium. So what we'll do? First of all. so there are multiple ways of looking at it best way is to form into parallelogram or rectangle so a b c d okay 
what if I can draw a parallel line from here or I can draw perpendiculars from here. Both are fine. Both ways I can find the area of this. So this point will be regarded as E and F. Okay. So let's say this particular thing is A. This particular thing is B. What do you think? What will be EF? What do you think? What will be EF? So AB will be equal to EF. It will be A only because A, B, F, E is forming a rectangle, isn't it? Yes. So in that way, so yeah, and this I'm regarding as height. So can I find the area of this particular region? So area of a, B, F, E. What will be the area of A, B, F, E? Aaron, what will be the area of A, B, F, E? Sir, A, B, F, E will be taken as a, uh, there will be length of uh, A into B. I mean, length into breadth, length into breadth. Length into breadth? What is yeah. length in this A, B, F, E? So length is uh, a. a. What is breadth? So breadth is h. H. Very good. Right. So that's my area for this. Now, if I pay attention to this part, what is the shape? What is that shape? A triangle. A right angle triangle, not just a triangle. Okay. A, E, D. And similarly over here. It is B, C, F. Okay. So I really don't know what is the value of this part and this part. But I definitely know if I, let's say, I'll take x over here. Okay, I really don't know the value, so I'll take x. Can anyone tell me what will be the value of fc? So it will be x as well. I really don't know whether they are equal, Vibhu. I don't know whether they are equal. Understood? I know. If I were you, I would also think the same. That this is x, that is also x. Done. But I don't know whether they are equal. Any, any other guess? What is fc? Quickly, Sana. Another variable for FC. Let's not take that. I know the total. What is total? I guess B. B. Yeah. If I remove A and remove X, I'll get FC. So can I write FC is B minus A minus X? Yeah. Okay. Why I'm not taking any other variable? Because 
at the end i need to solve something na out of it okay let's move ahead what is the area of triangle area of right angle triangle i guess half base into height half base is x and height is height only isn't it height is height so that's my area for this triangle here half into base base is what b minus a minus x into height okay now let us work upon the total area isn't it now i have to calculate the total area how will i do that i'll just add ah plus half xh plus half b minus a minus x into h is it making sense yes no yes anything like anything can be added or taken common can you see anything which can be taken as common quickly can you see this has h this has h this has h yes can i take out h as common what will be left over here in the first term a here xh and here i'll open the bracket bh sorry h is already out sorry uh sorry not xh my bad half x plus half b minus half a minus half x till this thing is it clear yes no yes sir yes sir so now what i have done i have taken out h over here and multiplied by half half b half a half x i hope it is clear now i want to hear answers otherwise there is no use i can give you the formula don't worry at the end formula is yours you can rectify at the end but i am here driving it can you see anything can be solved over here so we can add um x but 1 by 2 x and um Minus yeah, one by two. Yes. Can this cut? Yes. Yes, we can. So what is left? Let us write once again. H bracket a. A minus half a plus half b. Isn't it that is left? What is a minus half a? You have one full thing. And subtract half. So half. A. Half of a. Yes. H bracket half a plus half b. Can I take half common? Half h multiplied by a plus b. That is the formula. So I'll explain you the formula. What is it? now I'll, i'll just write it directly half into height bracket sum of 
parallel sides okay if you look at the figure it is half into height height is this okay sum of parallel side a plus b making sense yes aaron did you understand yes i understood i'm noting sana yes see for you you are in class 8th no need of like you might not get this question derive the formula for the area of trapezium but you should know why in the book itself sorry i'll i'm erasing for a minute then you can, i'll come back to that there is an activity over here is as you can see after that they will give you this formula directly uh, there is a formula formula i guess long back they have given us the formula can you see this half h upon 2 half a plus b making sense but instead of just rectifying this thing we are trying to understand why is it so anyway copy this thing just for the sake of it we'll do one or two questions then we will give you some homework let us quickly see one more no two questions so that you understand why why and how we will be using it so this is one question we'll do this so as you can see this shape is trapezium and they have given us also if they don't write the name and they give you a symbol like this that means parallel side one pair of parallel side a uh, that means it is trapezium so how you will do mark the label a b c d and go in a round okay don't write like this this is a common mistake with student do a b c d we don't do it like this so since it is a trapezium it will be like area of trapezium equals to half into height bracket some of parallel sides some teachers write i write a plus b i have a habit of writing this okay or you can write some of parallel side also some of parallel sides so um can you tell me what will be the answer for this what will be the next step Aaron, what is height in this question? So the height is three centimeters. Very good. So now, sum of parallel sides. What should I do over here? Sixteen uh, centimeter. Can I write seven plus nine first? Yeah. So half into three into sixteen. Just cancel it. Eight. Eight zero twelve. Twenty-four centimeter square is my area. I hope it's making sense. Okay. Yes. No. Variety of questions will be. They will not give you this thing. They will give you the area. Find the height. They might not give you this thing. They will give you the area. So. in this there are four variables as you can see area height a plus b isn't it 1 2 3 4 so out of these four one they will not give and rest of the things they will give easy now based on this you start doing this exercise 11.2 uh you do first four questions 
ओके ओके सर